okay so the second set uh, here what they do is they will be giving us the apparent dips and we have to find out the true dip amount and direction you will give the apparent dip and we have to find out the true dip amount and direction so the first problem set uh, two problem number one says that a coal bed a coal seam seam is nothing but the bed coal is nothing a seam is nothing but the meaning of seam is a bed it is okay has apparent dip of 1 is to 7 due north 12 degree is similar outcrop reads at 1 is to 5 north 35 degrees west find the amount and direction of a true dip state the straight strike direction so let's see the given data so here what they they have given they have given us two apparent dips two apparent dip directions two apparent dip amount they are given and we have to find out a true dip direction true dip amount as well as the strike direction we have to find it out okay so let's see how to solve this problem okay the given data i am just making it here uh, like a previous problem you have to first draw north south east west line okay and name them with north south east west okay and the intersection you name it as o the intersection you name it as o as as, as usual the previously how we have done it same way now let us start plotting this let's start plotting north 12 degrees east north 35 degrees west and the corresponding apparent dip amounts for this north 35 degrees west 1 is to 5 is the amount for not 12 degrees is 1 is to 7 is the amount okay so corresponding amounts are being given that you have to plot it okay then let's see the first one App. so first i have plotted not 35 degrees west this direction okay and i'll write down apparent dip. these are the apparent dips not 35 degrees west okay and i'll i'll mark the amount as 1 is to 5 i'll mark the amount as 1 is to 5 i'll name that point as point a and name that point as point a 1 is to 5 i measured i measured from this this point i measured from this point 5 centimeters over here till this point and named it as point a okay then when this part is over this part is over now i'll plot it not 12 degrees east not 12 degrees east and i'll write down apparent dip north 12 degrees east and i'll measure the 1.7 i'll measure it from this point the 7 centimeters till here okay i'll name that point as point b now what i'll do is i'll join these two points with a straight line i'll join these two points and parallelly this line i'll shift it at the point o also parallelly i shift these lines should be parallel to each other okay i shifted it then whatever is been given we completed whatever is being given we completed this part now we have to find out the apprentice direction what is the relation between strike direction a strike line and a true dip they are perpendicular they are yes good but they are perpendicular to each other they are perpendicular to each other so once they are perpendicular means if i draw a perpendicular line to this from the point o i'll get a true dip direction as well as amount so what i did i'll be drawing a perpendicular line i'll be drawing a perpendicular line to this strike line so this perpendicular line falls over here okay this perpendicular line falls over here and i'll name that point wherever it is meeting i'll name that point as oc point okay and uh, i'll measure this angle i'll measure this angle angle noc okay and oc will give me a true dip direction will give me a true dip direction i'll get it and if i measure the distance oc i'll get the true dip amount true dip amount i'll be getting it measure this angle to get the true dip direction and measure the distance oc to get the apparent dip amount okay so these angles as usual if you measure these angles 
one is with respect to south and one respect to north you will get the strike direction also okay how to do it how to do it i'll just recorded a small video okay i recorded a small video okay so that you can understand in a bit better manner okay i'll I think you can play it here let's see yes so here first i'll be drawing north south east west line how to draw the north south east west line as they both should be perpendicular to each other this is how we can draw a perpendicular lines to each other yes i have drawn north south east west line here north 12 east then north 12 degrees east i'll be marking 35 north 12 degrees east i measure okay yeah, and same time i'll be measuring north 35 degrees west i'll be joining this north 12 degrees east and this will be north 35 degrees west west okay then i'll measure 5 cm over here sorry 7 cm over here it is 1 is to 7 no on uh, north 12 degrees east yes and here i'll measure 5 cm so i name that point as a this point as b then i'll be joining these two points and parallelly i'll be shifting this at the bottom you can use ruler scale or set square also ruler scale also will help you to draw then now pay attention here the important part is over here what i am doing is i am coinciding this zero line i am coinciding this zero line with my strike line this is my strike line here no and i made a 90 degree to this line how i did it you have observed and i'll be measuring it i am i get the answer this as oc is to 4.9 in a diamond mine a diamond bearing rock has apparent depth of 1 is to 7 in not 25 is and 1 is to 9 in north 80 degree south 80 degree is okay the amount determine the amount and direction of true dip so the given data itself shows that it is not Sorry. North 25 degrees east, and corresponding amount for that is 1 is to 7. And another apparent direction is south 80 east, and corresponding amount is 1 is to 9. Okay, so we have to find out the true dip direction, true dip amount, and side direction. Okay, let me first plot our north south east west lines. Uh, it should be here, no? Because it is south in the direction. Okay, and the 
same way the apparent dip north south east west line hmm. so i'll name this as north south east and west okay let us plot let us plot the now north 25 east north 25 east so maybe something of this kind north 25 this should be origin from the point o okay north 25 east and marking will be 1 is to 7 i'll name this point as a i'll change the color you are continuing and then south 80 will be something of this kind south 80 south 80 east and 1 is to 9 okay and 9 cm i'll extend it And nine centimeter may be somewhere here. Okay, that is point B. Then what I'll do? I'll join these two points. I'll join these two points, and parallelly I will shift it to here also. This should be again at point O. Okay, then. to this lines i'll drop a perpendicular i'll drop a perpendicular so the probable perpendicular line will be of this kind okay probable perpendicular line will be of this kind this point i'll say c i'll let's measure this angle angle n o c will give you the true dip direction and distance oc will give you your true dip amount okay so we use do this and tell me the answer okay so soft shell bed in a bridge abutment is dips at 1 in 1.5 that is 1 in 1.5 is nothing but again 1 is to 5 1 in 1.5 in the direction not 80 west i said not 50 west and 1 in 5 in the direction south 35 west so 35 west find the amount and direction of true dip so the given directions we will write down here the given apparent dip directions north 50 west with 1 is to 5.5 and another is with south 35 west with 1 is to 5 1 in 5 or 1 is to 5 okay we have to find out the true dip direction amount and strike direction we need to find out okay <clears throat> start let's start solving it again mm -hmm. this side this time it is the other side Again, I'll write down north, south, east, and west. Okay. So now let us see the first point. How much it is? North 50 west. So 50 will be like this. Some something.
T will be change the color. Okay, and we have 35 degrees. 35 degrees of this kind. So named it as B. Okay, now let us join this both the points. Wait, turn, but fine. Again, same way, this side parallelly, you transfer it. Parallel transfer it and then plot a perpendicular line to this. Plot a perpendicular line to this. So the plot perpendicular will be something of this kind. Okay, so this will be perpendicular. In video, I already shown you how to draw the perpendicular lines. Okay, name this point as C. Major angle here. Um, this angle you need to measure. This angle you need to measure. Yes, O. C to get true dip direction and distance OC to get true dip amount. Strike direction as usual this you measure strike direction. Okay. So SO I'll name this as SS then SOS or S dash. So SOS and NOS dash angle S O S dash and angle N O S dash will give you the strike direction. Okay, so these things you will get it. You complete this part. Problem 2.3.